Thank you, Ted. Questions? Max? Uh, with President Biden slated to release his executive order later today on the border, curious your thoughts on the proposal and whether you support the action. You know, Republicans have shown, you know, time and time again that they are unserious about this issue. Um, and I think that's the most, um, you know, problematic. Um, President Trump tells Senate Republicans to turn back a bipartisan compromise. Speaker Johnson, you know, turns down, you know, the ability to bring something like this to the floor. And that's because Republicans are more concerned about keeping this as a campaign issue than they are about governing and solutions. The bottom line is House Democrats believe we can and should secure our border while opening up more legal pathways that, by the way, have been the reason why we have had success. Uh, and success is defined by two-thirds of unauthorized crossings. Uh, that's the reduction. It's been reduced by two-thirds unauthorized crossings at the southern border in, last, in the last six months. And it's because of a combination of Joe Biden's policies uh, to support uh, enforcement and Border Patrol and give them the resources and the tools that they need, even when House Republicans voted to cut their, those budgets, um, combined with opening up legal pathways um, for people to uh, come into this country. And that's exactly what the Biden administration has prioritized. But we have to do both. We have to provide opportunities uh, for individuals who have family members um, who are undocumented um, to contribute and to, to be part of the fabric of this country. We think that the American people understand that. Uh, individuals who have been living with someone who is undocumented for 20 years or 30 years, they should have that ability uh, to become citizens and to become lawful permanent residents um, and to become uh, a part of this economy because they are part of the fabric of our of our communities. And so, um, you know, we need to continue to do both of those strategies, and I'm, I'm concerned that this is just, you know, the enforcement-only side of the strategy, um, but I'm confident that we can continue to lift up programs um, like uh, temporary protected status, like support for those with DACA, uh, uh, like helping uh, families uh, who have uh, a loved one uh, who is undocumented within the, their household, uh, spouses, for instance. Those are things that we can do and that the Biden administration should be looking at. Um, uh, and that's what, uh, but I'm going to, I have not seen the full language of the EO. Um, I look forward to, to reading it when it's released this afternoon.